I pulled over. We are in Tennessee. Let me race because I knew it was going to happen. The time we have all been waiting for, okay? Hey y'all, so right now it is 10 10 on June 10th, okay? <laughs> and y'all, as y'all can tell by the title, your girl is moving, okay? So I'm gonna take you guys along. We're headed on the road at 2 30 in the morning. I have to go get Jai, and then once I get Jai, we are headed to Alabama. I was about to say Birmingham, Alabama, but we're headed to Huntsville, Alabama, I believe, which is like an 11 hour drive from here, but 10 hours and like 30 minutes from Jai's house. So I should be asleep right now because I got the first leg of the drive but my adrenaline is like pumping like last night I stayed up mad late so I could sleep through the day I woke up early it's crap at 9 a.m I didn't drink any coffee I'm normally a coffee drinker so I was like oh I'll get sleepy again I took like a hour nap at most in the middle of the day and now I'm just up I had some last minute packing um I have a comfort ass in the washer because now that I'm paying my own water bill I'm gonna keep using my mama's okay i'm gonna keep using my mama's to the very last second thank you ma but y'all i am just so excited god has been doing some amazing things in my life and this is just the glimpse of it y'all i cannot wait to tell y'all my testimony and bring y'all along on this new living alone series i did this all on my own got approved on my own no help no anything and i could not do this without jesus and the help of my parents like moving back home has really instilled a lot of discipline within me as far as finance as far as like meal prepping and stuff like that things that prepared me to live on my own if y'all didn't know i broke up with my ex-boyfriend of five years back in august we are now currently back together okay if you didn't know we're back together but i really feel like we needed that for one to grow as people to figure out our relationship together but also for me to grow my relationship with christ but also to learn how to be a wife to learn how to live on my own to learn how to be a homemaker take care of my home like to learn how to be by myself and be okay with being by myself because you girl about to be in a whole nother state by herself okay okay so i just wanted to jump on here real quick i'll probably check in with you guys once i'm headed out i'll let you guys see my car and everything i don't know how i made it in there i can't see out of any windows thank god for a backup camera and nobody better be in my blind spots and just play for traveling mercies with me as we make this trip down to first alabama and then to texas i see y'all in a little bit bye y'all y'all before i left i just wanted to give you a quick overview of my room i said i went back in with my parents this is my mom's office i'm gonna show y'all real quick okay and if you haven't seen when i moved into this room make sure you go watch that because it's completely naked now i sold all my furniture i'm literally just taking my clothes my makeup and my shoes like and what anyway i'm starting all over so my bed is completely empty y'all my cousin actually was moving out of her place and she gave me this bed at the same time I was moving in. And now she's moving um, out of another place and she's getting her bed back. So God's time is always perfect. It's just so empty, y'all. It is just so empty. I have my dresser and my desk and everything right here. But what I still have up is this. I wrote right here on this whiteboard that I will be the Dean of Students. And this was in March, y'all. I didn't erase it because I knew it was going to happen. So here's like different scriptures I wrote, um, some affirmations and stuff, things I need to do for YouTube and TikTok that I never ended up doing. But I'm going to get consistent, especially now I have a lot more time. I'll be by myself. I'll have less distractions. Um, I'm just really excited. I'm just really excited. <laughs> I cannot wait and I just cannot wait to bring you guys along on this journey. I'm going to stop running my mouth. I got like 10 minutes before my clothes come out the dryer and then take a nap and then get up and make some coffee and we headed on the road. Hey y'all, so my name is Dania Danye and if you like makeup, hair, vlogs, lifestyle videos, a little bit of everything, go ahead and subscribe right now, okay? Now let's head on the road. Good morning guys. So today is Tuesday and right now it is 3-12 and look at my car. It is packed to the brim. Mind you, still gotta go get my boyfriend and my cat and their thing. So, let's pray this all fill. Or I might just be leaving something at my boyfriend's house. I got my coffee. I got my tunes. I am on the way. I just want to thank God for this moment, y'all. I'm so excited. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hey 
Hey y'all, so right now it is 7.37 and we made our first stop in Virginia. Um, I was getting a little sleepy, honestly. Jai took over. I went to go get two Celsius, but I'm also about to eat my Subway right now and just take a quick little nap until Jai, he gets tired. He has some type of, what kind of energy drink is that? Oh, it's a five hour energy drink. I didn't know they made drinks that look like this. I thought it was just a little bottles. So he has that and he's gonna go until he can't go no more. And I will check with y'all later. Y'all look at kimchi real quick. It's so tight in this car. My poor baby is down here. He has some catnip, so he's pretty chill right now. But yeah, I got my subway, my chips, and yeah, y'all. Just to give y'all an update on the time, it says we're gonna get there at 2.32. We have seven hours left, so seven hours and 54 minutes, so basically eight hours left. I will check in with y'all later. We are in Tennessee. Okay, this is both of our first time in Tennessee. Hold on. Okay, I want to make sure y'all can hear me. It's both of our first time in Tennessee, y'all. Just made it through Virginia. We've been in Virginia several times before. Here's a check in on the baby. Can you see? <laughs> I gave him some more catnip and I opened like the front of his um, book bag so he has more space. And I brought him out here. He did really good, y'all. He jumps out here, and but he jumped back in when he, I guess, was over it. It is 10.33 right now. How you feeling? Um, I feel fine, but my butt cheeks are hurting. <laughs> I'm in my knees. Nobody told him to be tall. Uh, nobody told him to be tall. But yeah, my butt cheeks don't hurt yet. My knees were hurting because I sat crisscross. I don't know why I did that in the chair while I was asleep for a little bit. But John has been driving for a minute now. I don't know what has it been that long? It's been probably like, I'm gonna say three hours. It's not been three hours, John. <laughs> I think it's been like an hour and a half. That's what it seems like. Cause we stopped at like, oh, did we stop at seven or eight? No. Yeah, he's been driving for a while now. Two hours now, so. He got his energy drink. I just opened up my Celsius. I don't know. I'm not gonna drink the whole thing because we're gonna stop it. We're gonna be at his friend's house at 2.25. That's without filling up again, but I think we'll have to fill up one more time before we get to Alabama. But when I get to his friend's house, I want to be asleep so I could be the first person to drive out tonight. Yo, this car is packed to the brim. Like, it is no extra space anywhere. I packed this all by myself, okay? I'm just really proud of myself. All the years of moving paid off. Actually, I'm not proud of myself because it's still a lot of stuff that I didn't get in here, but it's okay. It didn't fit in. A babe will bring that when he comes. So, yeah. Only thing that I don't like about, I'm sorry if I'm talking too much, babe. <laughs> I know he like, put my music back on. Only thing I don't like about road trips is the straight, like, roads. Like, you just straight. Like, we're on the same road for 125 miles. It's been more than that. It's been longer than that. Dang near 200 miles. What is that? A water tank? What is that? A sub that looks like a submarine. That's huge. But you see some cool sights while you're driving here. But it just gets so warm in this long, long road. And we saw like three cops. No, it was like, what, five cops back to back. But it was like, dang. Within like a mile, if that, of each other. So... I was like, yeah, Jahi, slow down, because he be speeding. <laughs> and though he know, y'all. That's me. Um, but all right, I'll check in with y'all later. Oh, look who wants to join us. Okay, maybe not. It is 203, 303 back in Eastern State of Time, but we are in Alabama right now. Okay, this is a really bad angle. I look crazy. Okay, but as it's not done, but it's okay. It's been a long day. We just stopped to get gas. This is our third fill up. We are 42 minutes from our destination, y'all. We are arriving at 245, so I think we are making really good time. We added an extra gained an extra hour so we have more time to go to sleep and stuff like that i fed kimchi early i don't know if i told y'all that or not i fed kimchi come here i'm trying to get him to come back up here he wanted to look outside a little bit and put his leash around his like tick collar because he does not wear a bro collar because he doesn't want to but 
I thought he was gonna step outside, and as soon as he went to go outside, John came back from pumping the gas. So he was like, "Get him, get him." But yeah, I'm mad we didn't get no Alabama signs. And as soon as we saw another sign, like John had the camera ready, and he went to go put it down because we didn't see any for a while. And as soon as he went to go put it down, we saw another sign that said something Alabama. But I didn't know it was a Hollywood in Alabama. And it says it's the real Hollywood, the original Hollywood. So that's interesting. Is that a slave house? They look like slave houses. Say what? That look like an abandoned slave house. Abandoned slave house. Slave house. Oh. <laughs> he said playhouse. Did you say McDonald's? Kim? Why are you at this kid? Yeah, I'm so proud of him. He has been doing a really good job this whole trip. He only like, I don't even think it was a wine, but he meowed like twice this whole entire ride. He was asleep. I did give him some catnips. I don't know if that helped him sleep a little bit or chill out a little bit, but he's just been pretty chill. Um, he'll come up here and go down like whenever he feels like it. So I like that he's starting to feel a little bit more comfortable, but I do understand like outside is very overwhelming to him. Yeah, I don't want to talk too much because this is the boring part. Y'all here for the, the good stuff. Y'all here for the good stuff. So I'll check out y'all later. Hey y'all, so this probably is not the best angle, but right now it is 3.42 and we are in Alabama. We are at guys, one of his best friend's house, one of his friends from high school, whatever, in the guest room. And you girls about to knock out. I just ate another half of my Subway sub, so I'm gonna be asleep. I'm gonna shower when I wake up so I can be fresh on the road for when I get there and sign my lease and everything. But I'm about to go to sleep now. Jai out there, I'm um, talking to his friend, just catching up. He about to eat. I think he's gonna come in a little bit, but... We're almost there, y'all. We halfway there. And Kimchi is just walking around the room, smelling everything. Keep trying to get out the room. Let's pray to God. My stuff is okay in my car. It's light outside right now, so we should be good. We should be good. But now I'll check on y'all probably when I wake up so we can get like ready together and stuff. Cause I'm gonna get a little bit cute for my lease signing, okay? I know I'm gonna be in the car for 10 hours, but I still wanna get cute. Not cute, cute, not no makeup or whatever, but like eyebrows, something, touch up these edges. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and charge my battery so I can take y'all along tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, bye, y'all. Come here. Hey, y'all. So it is 10 12 and we are about to get back on the road we're packing up our stuff now we just got out the shower i got enough sleep i don't know if john got enough sleep he wanted to be outside i don't even know where they went where'd y'all go babe hmm? where'd y'all go earlier oh we went uh just uh korean chicken snack. and you ain't give me nothing huh? and you ain't give me nothing i ain't getting them myself oh ah y'all was about to say i was about to say but i am getting hungry that's something i ate earlier is gone now and i just realized like that's literally all we've been surviving off of since yesterday eight, two o'clock in the morning so i'm gonna stop and get some food on the way but yeah we should get there tomorrow around let me see let me see let me see let me see but we gotta add in like styles of gas and stuff like that y'all i said i was doing my makeup and my edges job is like why why it's like you're right We'll get there tomorrow around nine o'clock, but with stops and stuff, probably 10 o'clock. The leasing office opens up at nine. I signed all my paperwork and stuff like that, so I should just be getting the keys and then doing, you know, like a check of everything to see how the apartment is looking before I move in. I'm gonna document everything. And before I move my stuff in, I want to clean, but I know that's unrealistic because I got to go to the store and I can't go to the store with all that stuff in my car. So I might put it in a closet and then clean after. All right, y'all. 10 more hours to go. Well, let me see. I think it's like 11, honestly. Yeah, 11 more hours to go. Hey y'all, so right now it is 1.55 in the morning. I got pulled over. I was going 65 and 55. I thought you could do 10 miles over. Okay, guess not. But it's really like three o'clock in the morning back at home. We just waiting for Jai to finish filling up. I drove, been, I've been driving since y'all last seen me. So it is time to switch. And I was trying to find a place with a clean bathroom, but it don't even look like the inside of this place is open. We at Circle K right now. The Pilots, if y'all ever on the road going down south, Pilot is nice. They have nice bathrooms. I saw it was a cute, a quick trip, QT, whatever. A few exits down, but I didn't want to wait that long because I'm sleepy and we just needed a gas real quick. But I might stop there. I don't know if there are bathrooms that are clean. I can't remember. I haven't been to a um, quick trip in a minute. The police officer let me off with no ticket or whatever it's just a warning he was like slow down just this much you're gonna say yeah because you got something illegal on your license plate because i have the sigma getting wrong on my license plate and he was like i was like that's illegal down here he was like yeah because i can't see the state i said yes you can and job was like you shouldn't have talked back to him but i'm like 
you, you can see the state. Anyways, yeah, whatever. So, Jai is done getting gas. And gas is cheap down here. It's like $2. And that was just $19 to fill up my tank, so that's real good. I don't know why he's going back on that side. He better come over here. Do you want anything out of here? No, is there somebody in there? But if nobody's in here, we're gonna have to go somewhere else. Look at Kimchi, y'all trying to get out. You trying to get out the window? Kim. Chi Chi, come here. Oh, it's a girl right there. Ja, Ja, Ja. A girl just came from out the back out of nowhere it's just like a little revolver he can't go actually in the store i'm about to come on the other side y'all so i can be with um kimchi but good thing she's in there oh somebody else is in there too now where was they at they were asleep where was they at all these people want to come out the back now <laughs> yeah i'll check with y'all later <laughs> We made it y'all, we are here in the elevator, I already started, well this is our first set of stuff that we're bringing in. So yeah, I won't talk to y'all that much because we got a lot of stuff to bring in. I'm checking out y'all once we get inside, this is what, already. Uh, the time we have all been waiting for okay i'm here to give you guys an empty apartment tour now this is a two bedroom two bath apartment and i do have a patio and the amenities are bomb okay so we're gonna start off in the kitchen this is like my favorite spot of the apartment y'all <laughs> Then we have under the cabinet storage some oil stains and the leasing office did hook me up with a bottle of that pinot okay i'm gonna be drinking that tonight y'all i really like that it has under lighting under the cabinet lighting or whatever i forgot what it's called it's a word for this but i forgot i wish it wasn't so yellow i wish it was like white or daylight so here we have the stove and it is a full oven nice size microwave y'all look at this microwave this is a really nice size microwave okay more storage over here i'm not gonna bore y'all with that but before we get into this door let's move up to this right here i like that it has a spot for all my baking trays cutting boards and everything down here i do have a dishwasher and y'all get to this thing i like the double sink with the disposal boom and then here is the refrigerator it is a nice size refrigerator. We don't have anything in there yet. And then the freezer. Mm. And then I have extra storage up here. These are gray compared to the white over there. And then we have a pantry. It's empty. Well, not completely empty. We got some stuff just sitting in there for right now because we did move everything in. But this is a nice size pantry, y'all. Making our way to the living room. I don't know how I'm gonna set up my TV and stuff yet and uh, keep going back and forth with somebody on that. But, however it is, it's gonna be really cute. I think we can fit four bar stools right here. I might do three just to be safe. But I like that I can cook right here, make all my cooking videos, and watch my TV on that wall. So if we should go right here, y'all, or over here, or over here. People who live here before me can over here. I don't really like it over here, though. It has a wet bar, which I really like, with storage, and it does have the, um, what is that called? Outlet. Yes, it has an outlet underneath there. I'm not sure why that would be under there, but it's nice to have. And over here is nice closet space for my coat closets. I might put my shoes and stuff in there as well, just extra storage. We're gonna go, oh wait, I know we should've done that first. Let's go over here real quick. Let's run back to the kitchen, y'all. 
All right, y'all. Now we have a full size washer and dryer, y'all. Ah, this was an absolute must in an apartment, okay? Because I just, I, I don't know, I don't know how to do a laundry mat, and it's not picking clothes up, taking them down the steps. So it had to have a washer and dryer, and it has storage. Oh, it need to be clean, but it does have storage, y'all. And it's some extra storage on the side for a laundry basket. I might put some of King and Kimchi stuff over there just to store like the pet stuff. I'll be turning these lights off as we go because I need to got a bill now. Okay. All right, y'all. So let's come over this way. bed to go in here it's a twin day bed that pulls out to a full king so this gonna be nice don't come visit me unless you bought me a gift so <laughs> it's like a dish of people. and this is the closet jackie trying to make me take this closet y'all he said is this gonna be where your stuff is when i have a whole closet in another room too but isn't this closet bigger i'm gonna have both of them yours is gonna be the coat closet <laughs> but i really like come in babe i really like that i can have a dresser that goes in this area right here but it's really big all right y'all so coming over here right off the guest room slash makeup room slash jackie thinks it's gonna be his room is the guest bathroom y'all okay get into the shower i just love the chrome finish and everything in this apartment that's chrome right yeah I was about to say, I don't want to be saying stuff wrong, okay? So here is the sink. Just to show you my water work. Um, but it's nice storage over here. I can do some really cute get ready with me videos in here, y'all. A nice under the cabinet storage. If that wasn't enough storage, we have a whole extra linen closet. So I'll probably put like extra sheets and towels in here for the guests. Leaving Jahi's room. Uh, I'm glad you identified it as that. <laughs> We are coming over to where the magic happens. Where I'm gonna be praying. That's the magic. Some of the outlets have USB ports so we could charge our phone on a nightstand or whatever. I don't know how I'm going to set the room up yet. I'm going to bought it out later on. But come in here, you'll see my cat hiding. Y'all, excuse the mess. We literally just put stuff in today. So his litter box and everything and food and stuff is right. Don't shut up the litter box. <laughs> y'all, double synced up, y'all. Double synced up his and her sinks. With nice under the cabinet storage, a toilet, a towel rack, and kimchi. <laughs> Y'all, he is a freak. He's like, what is going on? After being in the car for 20 hours, he's like, what the heck? But y'all i do have a really nice garden tub and i like that it comes with the um what is that the shower rack that's already bent out so the liner isn't touching your skin i am going to replace that shower head but i still like the chrome finish you want to say hi to the people <laughs> all right and if you come over here i took over the camera real quick over here is more storage we have a linen closet where i'm going to put our bedding and more towels obviously so makeup and hair stuff in here Probably just hair stuff, not makeup stuff. You want to show them this bag? This is where you're going to be sleeping at. <laughs> Who won't be sleeping? You, right here. 
got a nice little air mattress in there for you too. Oh dang, he already set the air mattress up for me everything. I mean, you already put it in there for me everything, y'all. So this is all the stuff that we brought in from my car that I had packed. Oh yeah, real quick, let me, shameless plug. Look at this. Make sure y'all go get some of James wine. Okay, this is the Berkeley. This is strawberry it's cider, y'all. It's so good. He gave this to me. I'm going to say as a housewoman gift because he gave it to us for the free free after staying in his house. So he hooked us up. But y'all, get into the space. Get into the space for all the clothes. I think Jackie can that side and these will be my sides. Okay. And then you can still fit a nice dress. I don't know if I put a dresser right here because of that over there. I could fit like a small one. I don't know. You gonna put your bed at? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. But y'all, all seriousness, y'all, we a little bit crooked. I just set y'all down real quick. But in all seriousness, in one of these closets, I do want to have like a little prayer corner, prayer closet, or whatever. I'm gonna have a little chair and my post-it notes for my different prayers, my scriptures, and everything like that. Because y'all know. Y'all been on this journey of building my relationship with God. And I want to create like a certain space within my house where I can just come, spend time, pray, and write out all my prayers and see all the prayers that get answered because they do be getting answered. They do be getting answered. So y'all, I think, you all right, babe? All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do the checklist really quick for the apartment just to see if anything is messed up. And then once I bring that paperwork back, I can retrieve my key. I don't have a parking space yet. I mean, parking is free on, on the outside, but if I want a garage parking spot, I have to pay for that. So I might just pay for that because it's hot out here and it's closer to my apartment. But I really like that my apartment is right off the elevator. I'll check in with you guys later. I know I wanna go shopping, but Jai's tired. I'm tired. I don't know what we're about to do right now. I don't know if I'm going to start putting stuff away tonight. I really wish my mom was here. She's coming on Friday. She's at work. She's at a work event right now. And my dad has work as well. But yeah, I got to get groceries today. And I'm going to get some home stuff today. But I want to put away all the stuff that I have first. But I need hangers. My parents was like, don't bring all those hangers because you're not going to have space in your car. And they were right. So I did find some cheap hangers off of Facebook Marketplace. Don't listen. I find everything off of Facebook Marketplace, y'all. <laughs> Don't make that face. But they have some hangers. They have like 100 hangers for like $20. I asked this lady for 150 hangers and it was 15 cents each. So I'm going to go pick up a few things off of Facebook Marketplace and then I will check on y'all. I probably will bring y'all along when I start setting everything up. Not when I go get this stuff because that's a lot of work. But I hope you guys enjoyed this apartment tour. Follow me along on this moving vlog, this living alone vlog until this nigga gets down here, okay? But I'm gonna have a whole series and I'm just really, really excited. So I'm gonna turn off all these lights on that's in my house right now and then get to work by y'all. Oh, and people have been asking about my registry. I'm happy that you said that day. Um, you can find the registry down below in my bio if you want to support us in this move. And yeah, love you guys, bye. <laughs> Y'all, I am looking so chocolate. The skin is giving, but right now I want to go turn in the papers. Like I told you guys, we did the inspection, everything. I got my mailroom key and my key fob now works to so all the amenities and stuff. Jai went upstairs. We did go to the mailroom and I picked up two things, a toolkit and then my bed. So Jai just took the bed upstairs by itself. I said, do you need help? He's like, nah, I got this. I said, okay, don't be trying to show up now. But we are going to head to AW Outlet. It's like this outlet that has like different home furnishings appliances for the low low so i'm gonna see if i can get stuff there first then we're gonna head over to ikea but on our way to aw outlet we're gonna go get some food we are starving here my baby comes so he said he wants some burger fries so he gonna get him some burger fries because he deserves it he deserves it oh babe was it heavy uh, a little bit <laughs> thank you baby all right so i will check in with y'all once we get to a w outlet y'all y'all we had jack in the box and i've never been here before and i don't know what i want to do oh my gosh it's all turn it's about a fat back activity going on yeah they had the yeah it's stuff jalapenos burgers chicken sandwiches wings tacos, tacos. milkshakes <laughs> curly fries like Jeez, i see yeah. why the obesity rate is so high in texas y'all <laughs> <laughs> and it's her breakfast all day. Oh, I didn't see that. Is that cheesecake? Yeah, so and churros. Cheesecake and churros. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a big stuff, y'all. I'm gonna be so big. And it's oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's too many options. Too many options. I got a spicy chicken sandwich. What'd you get? Double cheeseburger. Cause he's a double big bag. <laughs> I say. You said the mom. 
I said mine's just small. What are you talking about? See, you just put a word on <laughs> like, Okay, that's what I was going to say, but I was like, dang, you, you don't have to say it first. You're just Yo, attacking yourself. I'm so excited to try this food. I hope they got dippets. I want to see what their dippets are. Yeah, that's what me and my family call it dippets. We dip it babies. Because we like a lot of dippets sauce. So, yeah, y'all, I'm excited. Okay, bye, y'all. We checking with y'all once we get to AW. 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 AW, shut up. Y'all, I found some more good stuff. This is for kimchi like a little hidey hole because he's really scared right now some cheap trash bag a vacuum plastic force because we're washing dishes tonight y'all rum essentials five dollars rum essentials again how much is this 250 okay mop for the hardware floors and then this for the pets you want that it's only three dollars okay he's worse than a kid y'all what are you doing? Yeah, this is the bed that we got for the guest room. But it has two drawers. So it's not the the each one is not to what it be. <laughs> but these are like the foam pads that come with it. I think the ones that come the ones that come with it are a little bit thicker. This is a little thin, but it pulls out to a full king. It's so cute. And it, I don't think the bag goes up as high as this one. I'm not sure, but I know it only has two drawers instead of three. bought me all my stuff from ikea i shopped like i was about to buy the stuff and he ended up buying it and i was like dang well if i would have known that i would have got something out i'm glad you ain't know <laughs> but we was on our way to marshall's and just saw home goods he's like do you want to stop here so i'm gonna see how their prices are compared to like marshall prices because your girl is on a budget but i spent 193 at the first place and that was all cash so it's really girl math i didn't really spend any money and then ikea my baby just paid so i really didn't spend any money y'all i'm sorry i'm struggling i'm trying to put the shoe on Can you bring your flip flops no we pulled a sling please so yeah y'all we were gonna go into home goods i need like shower curtain oven mitts shower mats stuff like that i also need i also need um some sheets for my mama because she is coming on Friday. So let's go. You got my key? Oh, no, I think I got my key. So let's go, y'all. Yeah, your girl's tired. Jai's tired. He just woke up while I was driving. It is 625. We left home goods. We left all the stuff in the cart because I realized the pots that I was picking up and the pans that I was picking up was $25 each, but the whole 12 piece set was $75 on Amazon. So I put everything away and I just started getting all this stuff off of Amazon. Shout out to my brother because he sent me money and I basically covered my whole, like everything that I needed for my kitchen. There are a few things I still left in my registry that people can purchase, like smaller things and stuff like that. But for the majority of the big stuff, like y'all, come on, look at this. I just purchased the cutting boards, um, the thing for paper towels, some mixing bowls. Somebody else got that for me. I got storage containers because I start work on Monday. The trays. What else did I get? I got my knives. The other things I'm scrolling past, people already got these for me. And my pots and pans, y'all. So I'm just like, I just feel really blessed right now. We're gonna run into Marshall and then head over to Target and then go home. I think I might order my groceries online or order them tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna do it tonight because we need food in the house tonight. I'm just tired of running around and I know my baby is done. So yeah, I'll check with y'all in a bit, y'all. We just spent so much money today. So much freaking money today. I'm going to tell y'all how much I spent when I get in the house. But look at this. I was telling Jai he looked like how when we first came down. He said nah. It was a lot worse when I came down. But y'all, here's the back of my car. Okay. And y'all, here is 
the rest of the stuff. Oh my gosh. We're going all this way. All right, y'all. So I am back home and I'm about to give y'all a really quick haul. I was going to stand up behind there and do it, but I'm going to just point to this stuff because it's a lot of stuff and I need to hurry up and put this away. It's like nine o'clock right now. So bath mats. I got this big Ikea cutting board in the as is section for $12, y'all. We got some jumbo pillows for the guest room, a hamper, this little hidey hole for kimchi, some towels for guests. Again, that's what I showed y'all earlier, the room essentials, a towel rack, like robes and stuff like that. A swifter thing to clean the hardwood floors. Some hangers, this is nowhere near enough. I'm gonna have to get some more. Two different size, two different size trash bins. The larger one is for our bathroom and this one is for the guest bathroom because people won't be in there as much. The vacuum, I think y'all saw that. The chrome stainless steel plunger and brush set. A shower caddy, the ceramic plates. Y'all, these are members mark. These were $15 for a set of 12. Jahi was not about to let me get them at first. Just some two brushes. Um, this candle that Jahi insisted on getting. It smells so freaking good. Soap holder, a waffle maker, which I insisted on getting, which was $12. I took it off, but that came from A&W as well. This is something I purchased before coming here. This is just an Amazon toolkit. It does have a small powder and all the tools are pink. I got some plastic forks just to get us started for while I'm here, $5. A big thing of Cascade. Well, not really big thing, but big enough for me. Cascade, some Windex, Arm & Hammer for the floor these wine glasses y'all and i think they're so pretty they're so pretty jai found them for me i thought there were no more left but he found them some shower hooks i have some on my registry i need to go take them off because i realized i kind of need them tonight to shower so donut shop y'all guess how much this was for a pack of 48 it was only 15 dollars 15 dollars i got kimchi a toy you know I gotta show my baby some attention. These glad trash bags, AW on sale, really good sale. This is the pet lint roller. We really need that. I got kimchi some toys. I already opened them, but he didn't care for them. I think he's still scared. Yeah, he picked this up as well, like for the sink. This is a bath mat. It's a gripper for the bathtub, obviously. And I got some cotton pads for Yanu. I use this for my toner. Now, this is the Murphy's wood cleaner, some Comet, Dawn dish soap. These were everything that I got at ANW as well. So these are dish towels, some rags for the kitchen, and then these are for guests. Yeah, they're so soft. I thought they was gonna be like the hard ones. I kind of like the hard ones sometimes, but they're really soft. Sorry if I'm ashy, y'all. I didn't wash, I, wa I didn't wash my hands. I did wash my hands um, after using the bathroom. This is the shower liner, the shower curtain. I like the pattern you know kind of look like the one we have now almost this is for your spoon uh, i like it because it kind of matches the countertop it has the gray and white this is dish mats for drying dishes obviously dishes to can sit on josh told me this is his and i can't touch it but we got it in the as a section for 21 dollars originally 30. he likes to drink his tea he's not a coffee guy but he does like him some tea I did show you I ordered cutting boards, extra cutting boards, but I like having mini ones, like for just like something small, like an onion, cucumber, mini cucumbers, whatever. And then more cleaning supplies. I got some beads back here. I had to get a body scrub. I had to leave mine at home. So I got some dryer sheets. What's back here? Oh, some glasses. We can show you all those in a bit. The toilet cleaner, a litter scooper thingy. I gotta get a real one again because this ain't gonna do it. This is not the same gonna do it. So some Clorox spray, some Clorox wipes, a cat mat for kimchi's litter, um, two soaps. This is for just right now, the guest soap and one for our bathroom. And this is to refill it. Normally I like to get like actual containers and refill it with this, but these will do for right now until I can find a set for my bathroom that I really like. I didn't want to just settle on something. Now these are for, you know, dishes when it's hot, you can sit through on those. I should've got another one. Jahi found this for me in the as is section. I really like to make keto like egg muffins in the morning. They're not just for keto, but they're egg muffins in the morning for breakfast I can just have and go. And it was only 6.50. This is the bamboo organizer. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit in my drawer yet. I hope that it will. <laughs> And then I think that's it, y'all. I got this Colgate toothpaste. And look, this is the only thing I wash my dishes with. I don't like the sponges or dish rags like that. This is what I wash my dishes with. And then we got kimchi, a big thing of glitter. Y'all, it feels like we bought so much more than this. Why do I feel like it's not that much? It's in my bags. Can't get my phone, baby, please? Over there. 
Oh, we also got wine, y'all. We went into the big liquor store. Ja got him some Stella Rose. I got my mom some Michelada and with her Michelob Ultras. And then I got me this Woodbridge um, Sauvignon Blanc. And then they do have the, oh, we didn't put the other one that they gave us. It's at the wet bar over there. Thank you, baby, for my phone. Y'all, real quick, I just wanted to tell y'all, I'm sorry for this angle in the lighting. Y'all, I'm sorry for the angle in the lighting, but I just wanted to tell y'all real quick how much everything costs. All oh, my mom texted me because I really have not been texting anybody back today. We've been ripping and running. So at a and w I spent $193. At IKEA, I paid for it was $84. Amazon order that I showed y'all that I got everything that I needed from my brother that was $250. And then Marshall's was $257. $2.57 at Marshalls. I'm like, oh my gosh, but that's so easy to do, really, y'all. And then at Target was $125 for the cleaning supplies. Now, I still did not get groceries. Tomorrow we're gonna go grocery shopping. Tonight we're gonna find something to eat, drink us some wine, and relax. I need to clean this house, but I probably won't clean it until the morning or after I eat. I'm really tired, and I know Jahi's really tired, so yeah. I might wash the dishes, run some dishes in the dishwasher, but besides that. Yeah, we don't even have nowhere to sit. Like, we don't have no couch. No. Uh, yeah. uh, my mom's bed. Well, I keep saying my mom's bed. My mom did buy the bed, but it's for a guest. Any guests that come and stay with us. That comes tomorrow between 9 and 11. So, I will show you guys that. But I'm probably going to end this vlog right here. Well, you want to get some wine really quick and cheers out together? We got cups. Yeah, we yeah. have wine glasses. <laughs> All that money, we better have some freaking cups. Hold on, y'all. Y'all, these are the glasses that we picked up at IKEA. Just regular drinking glasses. There's only six of them. I still have some cups in my registry just in case anybody else wants to get me some. But I'm just going to run all the new dishes through the dishwasher. I don't think y'all want to see that because that's not really fun. But it's a good way to make sure that it works for one. Dang, I should have turned in that paper so soon y'all if they give y'all two normally people when you're doing an inspection for an apartment they give you two days to turn in the paper i just wanted to turn it in real quick so i can get stuff out the mail room and get my mail key because i have things coming tomorrow but make sure you use those two days so you can actually have a chance to sleep in your house live in your house and see how everything really works out so far everything is good only thing that doesn't work were these outlets back here so i gotta put a maintenance order in for that i don't know how to do that yet but i'm gonna learn i can't just call my boyfriend bob and be like yeah come help us we gotta figure this stuff out by ourselves. So I will check in with y'all in the next video. Oh no, we're gonna cheer real quick. Which one should we have? I gotta find it. Y'all gotta find a wine opener. Honestly, this what they gave us, it don't require a wine opener. I don't need a wine opener. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm drinking this barefoot because I don't feel like finding my wine opener. And babe is gonna have his cellar rolls. What we do, we should clean out the dish. <gasps> I forgot paper towels, y'all. Well, you have some. I do only have those three rolls. I think that should be enough to yeah, tomorrow. I'm about to yeah. All right, y'all. You is a Yes, and I use hair towels a lot. So let's get this on real quick before we say bye. We can cheers and celebrate together. Because this is a really big accomplishment, and I cannot wait to bring you guys along. <laughs>